Every day I'm shuffling. Skibbity wop pow pow. Skibbity wop pow 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 pow. What's up? I don't know what that says, to be honest. But hello, good sir. Glad to see you again. Now it's highly unlikely dude comes back. Uh, I sure wouldn't. But we'll see. Let's not insult people. He was say that. Outside soon. My dogs are outside, and I'm outside with them. I just, like, oh, man. First, don't, first off, don't try and talk over me, for one. And for two, like, stick to the topic. Every time your point gets proven incorrect, doesn't mean you change the topic. Hey, baby. Well, little corgi mutt. He's a good boy. Not very bright, though. All right, come on. Stop that. What does Bellator mean? Besides, like, bought by the PFL. Zinger! I think my biggest issue, of which I have many when it comes to this debate, is that people are coming at it from like a, oh, I wouldn't have done this, when what you would have done, what you think about it, is entirely irrelevant to any point in human history. If you weren't there, you weren't involved in the thing, in the thinking of the way those people thought at the time, it's just your opinion. That's all it is. History isn't about your opinion. It's simply what is and what isn't, what did and what didn't happen. And then, like, when you start lying about history and start making it about your opinion or this opinion or that opinion, it's when you get a lot of wacky-dacky stuff happening. What's up, man? Yo, what's good, man? Life's good. Good Crusader video. Thank you, good sir. Just historical information. Yeah, that dude, he had some horrible arguments. She doesn't even have an argument. That's just like Ill historically illiterate ramblings. And I hate that. Like, whatever. You can have your opinion, but your opinion is not fact. And don't try and present, present your opinion as if it's fact. And then once I bring up fact, don't try and deflect it or ad hominem to some completely different thing. Yeah, his argument was, I don't even know what it was really, like, I don't know. Well, the big thing was, well, the Crusades were bad because of the sack of Jerusalem. Do you not know how a siege went? That is part and parcel for a siege. Like, well, look at the Islamic siege of the same city. Were the circumstances the same? Absolutely not. Basically, the entirety of the Roman Levant, its military, the, not even of the Roman Levant, Heraclius, not long before the Rashidun siege of uh, Jerusalem, had taken 90%, some say, of the males 
period, out of the Levant to fight the Sassanid Empire. <laughs> the Islamic powers had 400 years to fortify and repopulate the city. It wasn't, it's not the same. You know, thinking about that, like everybody got wiped out. Like what did everybody, I don't know, how many people got wiped out? 10,000 in the siege of Jerusalem. Okay. What are how many people live there? I don't know. Even if it had been friggin' 50,000, doesn't make a difference. That's a medieval siege. I mean, 10,000 isn't even that much, to be honest. I mean, you're correct, especially, like, not in a medieval siege. For all time until, well, dog, even look at the most costly, one of the most costly battles in human history was the siege of Stalingrad. I think, like, and I could be way wrong. I think like a million people died. And that's in the 1940s. That is crazy. That is pretty crazy. And the dude brought up like, he brought up a uh, human, human rights. What about human rights? I'm like- Human dude, rights weren't a they, concept at they the time. Even a thing. They weren't even a thing during World War II. Barely. Absolutely. Sieges RMC Crawford, sieges have been throughout time. That was the point. The point was to make the siege so brutal that you did not have to fight another one. That if you were going to take another city, es duh, especially now, if you want to talk about million. the Mongols. It said the highest 2.5 million people died. During what? The siege. Of Stalingrad? The battle, the battle, yeah, Stalingrad. That's insane. Like on the Soviet side, it was like soldiers. Two million. No, I think there were like a million soldiers, and the rest were civilian casualties. Wow, I'm, I'm like Christ. But then again, like, what is a civilian casualty in a war of extermination? Which is what, yeah. you know, which is what the Eastern Front of the Second World War was. I think I think that's so funny because the Slavs are literally more genetically Aryan than the Germans. That's I don't know about a lot. I don't care about a lot. No, it's just it's it's funny to like look up his beliefs because they were stupid. Like well, like, like like a lot clearly. of them uns unsubstantiated. <laughs> like you just make it up shit. Like the worst. <sighs> I got to be real careful here. The worst part about Germany post First World War and in a war period, like, had a lot of very salient points you can't even argue with. The, like, the thing about Germany that cost it, like, all of its growth, all of its success and everything was the person in charge being a deranged yeah. human being yeah and also also we don't talk about this enough the some of the men around him particularly gobels um were also deranged like, oh, absolutely. Like, yeah and and i think that's honestly like he had no they should have alexandered him Loki, they, 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 that's what they should have did. They but why, why, it, it, I mean, why would he have? He's, he believed the exact same stuff. He surrounded himself with sycophants. Yeah, but it's, well, like you said, he, he just put himself in a circular sort of position there. But if, if he had even remotely anyone that was like, you know, forward thinking, they would have, they would have offed him as, as soon as they could have. As soon well, as they got like, to. <laughs> they tried to off the leadership of that party multiple times. They just failed. Bro, I had a good CIA. <sighs> Whatever you call it. But, uh, yeah, no, he, it, it, it's, it's very, it's, it's so foolish. I don't, I don't, I don't like the idea of wars of extermination because it's like, you're wasting so much valuable manpower. Like, like you could do something with uh, those guys. Like, well, no, they did. They did stuff with their the, their conquered populations. So they, you know, not in the Kresbian Empire. Well, no, but 
they not were, in Jin China for almost the entirety of Genghis Khan's lifetime. You know, that, but that's a, you have to think of it. How, in order to understand it, you have to think of it how they thought of it in a way. Like the Mongols, I'll use them as a specific, specific point because I know quite a bit about them. They viewed all settled people basically as cattle. And it's particularly in China. China caused a lot of problems in the steppe both before and long after Genghis Khan's lifetime. Especially with that that um that Khan they killed, like I think like a generation before his birth, like they, they nailed like his like dad, horse. who they no, paid no, no. the Tartars to kill. No, um, a different guy. He, he was like a different Khan before the, they they nailed him to like a wooden horse. It was that specific guy that like that was one of those things that they were like, um, dude, we got to get you back for that, which is fair because. A wooden horse. You nailed him to a wooden horse with like nails shooting out of the bottom, and made him sit on it. Like that's in, inhumane. Like just Sorry, kill. I me. don't care about Please. what Dan Bilzerian said. Wait, who the hell is quoting Dan Bilzerian? <laughs> Why would some fourteen-year-old? Yeah. Thoughts on Dan and the Armenian? Oh, because he's Armenian and he's speaking. Uh, out. We're okay. not. We're not even oh. going there. We're not talking about any of that stupid shit. No, 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 dude. The the Armenian G side is important. That's it's not important to this conversation. Not this conversation, but so we're not talking about it. No. Killing Christians ain't cool. Not uh, not based. Not so. In it. Not to do with this conversation. Well, we are on the topic of nope. World War Two, so not anymore. Uh, that, <laughs> Bit of a and also, if what's his name comes, which he won't, he's a coward. I'm kicking both of you just to have it fair, and that makes sense. But, bros, there's nothing that he could say, like, there's literally absolutely no way for him to even make a serious point, like, and. I mean that in the most basic of general logical, like, one plus two equals three, like, thinking. Well, what was the first thing he said? The first thing, his first little attempt at, like, countering me was because you're a Christian. None of my, none of my faith has anything to do with that. I stuck to completely historical fact. Yeah, that that was the weird part. He kept trying to bring up your religion as if this wasn't a historical conversation and not a religious one. That that was so odd. I'm like, it's like you guys aren't even having the same conversation. That's part of the problem. Yeah, well, yeah, you're you're not. But it's no stupid. I love analyzing stupid people because when you say it out loud, it's like, wow, this really I don't think he's sense. stupid. I mm. don't think he's stupid. I he's pseudo intellectual. I yes. I just think he's a bad person. He knows enough <laughs> about some things and then he fills the rest with his opinion. Yeah. And it's either yeah, it's, it's either you're evil or you're sh- stupid. And that's you don't yeah, exactly. <laughs> R.M.C. Crawford, he could not engage with the historical argument, so he attempts well, to deflect it to any other sort of point. Yeah, and he, he, he at first he didn't even come to talk about what you guys are actually arguing about. He tried to like make it into some like. Oh, I didn't have your thing reported. I'm like, what does that have to do at all with whatever is going on? Like at all. It was So the fact that like you went so hard on that, you definitely Yeah. Yeah, I know. It was the only thing he could bring up. It it was literally the only thing that he could say in his mind that wasn't absolute dog shit. I don't know if he's an Islamic apologist. I don't like I don't frequent his content. Most most people are in America, which I think is so weird. Uh, it's Ex- like the weirdest thing in the historically world. Historically illiterate. Wait, what do you say? Um, 
Uh, uh, stiffy one says, and he wasn't consistent. I bet he's an A, should be and my guy, an Islamic <laughs> apologist, which, I mean, probably, but I don't know. It's just like people that... <laughs> Which is people that try to use Roy Kasanagada or whatever his name is. It's like that's he is an Islamic apologist. That's yeah. not a source. Like I'm trying I to set up know. a debate. I'm trying to set up a debate with somebody named uh Jared Taylor. I'm trying to debate that. That's fun. I'm trying to debate old dude, but I highly doubt he's gonna come back in here. That's you, ever you ever heard of him? Nope. He's like, Ooh. I'll tag you on one of his videos on Twitter. His name's Jared Taylor. Look him up. Yeah, no, it's, it's Steph is Huh? What's his deal? <laughs> he's like a, well, he's like a race realist. I might agree with some of the stuff he says, but. A oh, race uh, realist? Oh, wait, is it that old, like, Dutch German guy? He's American. Yeah, it doesn't oh, sound like a Dutch German name. But anyway, sticking on topic. I know we see them live right now too. Oh, that burns me. What is the topic? The topic is the Crusades, the same one. Oh, okay. How amazing was Baldwin and how large were his nuts? That's, that's the real question. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, they had to be killing that fucking horse. I don't know about all that, but you got a dog. You got to be careful. Can't be saying stuff like that. Excuse me. Um, what's the point of living in America if I can't talk how I want to? It's BS. Not an American app. Even on American apps, you can't, though. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, trust me, dog. I've been going buck wild on Twitter, and all of a sudden, well, you can't post for a week. Yeah, yeah, like, well, what the hell, you want? You're supposed to make it cool Also, if you want more of this style stuff, do not follow me on Twitter. It's <laughs> My Twitter is a whole, whole, whole lot different. What is your Twitter? Uh, at SneakyDarnell0. What the, what the hell are you posting on there? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Well, you told me your name, so now I'm going to lick you up. So now I'm gonna A lot of insulting you. people. Oh, okay. That's what? That's that's all of Twitter. What? You're not doing anything new. Chill out, bud. Uh, if anybody else wants to come up, that wants to have a little crazy. debate. That's fine too. What's crazy? Yes, that my platform. profile is Saint Maurice. I do not have Rumble. Rumble's not the type of app that I want to associate with. I don't. <laughs> I have a YouTube page, but I haven't posted in over a year. And- We'll see if a, I ever do again. Do you, have a, you, do you have a truth account? Nope. You know, truth? I got that sounds like a, total, a terrible app, to be honest. It just sounds like a knockoff of Twitter. No, nah, it's it's Donald Trump's knockoff Twitter. MAGA, MAGA, MAGA. Mm. Yeah, but I can say faggot and not get Whoa, mad. Oh, so. dude. Uh, come on. Yeah. Bro, they're going to ban this account in like three days. No. Especially because you disagree with that Muslim guy. And I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, let me let me go back to make sure if this is actually correct before I say it. <clears throat> I hope he comes back, dude. Somebody tag him. Let me ask him if he wants to be an adult and have a real debate. Let me come back, dude. Let me tag him, bro. You know he's not gonna come back. Let me ask him if he wants to be an adult and have a real debate. Let me come back, dude. You're lying, me, bro. You know he's not gonna come back. You gotta come back up. Your um, your request again. There's only two type of black people, Oreos and then autistic ones are mistaken yeah, for Oreos. What? I just yapping. I just yapping. All right. If you had to be a soldier in any medieval battle, what battle would you be in? Anyone that the Mongols were in, and I would have been a Mongol. Um, <laughs> uh, wait, say, say that again. What was the question? Uh, if you could be a soldier in any battle, what battle would you be in and why? The Emu War. Real. <laughs> Real. Real War? 
medieval war. war. When the That's Australian not a battle, the birds. you said medieval first. Oh, I, I did say medieval. Oh, um. but I I get it though. <laughs> I I I get what you're trying to do. Now, I, there's no way you can. How how do you misunderstand a historical source? Alexios calls for aid. The West sends that aid. It, do, it really doesn't get more simple than that. Yeah, and and that's that's another, they, they they try and make it out as if history is like this super complicated, like spiel. Yes, which they do. It, it it is and it isn't. It's it isn't. Like, it's really history is not complicated at all. It's only complicated when people are lying. It's only complicated if you don't take the time to read about it. And that's why, like, I hate, like, academia and, like, history in academia. Because it's not there to teach history. It's there to form an opinion for you. Yeah. yeah and that's another, oh, because I don't pronounce Alexios Komenos correctly. Oh, Doc, my God. I don't care. Yeah. He's been dead I for forever. And he's that's a Greek. The, the, you want me to pronounce your name correctly? You have an American name. That shit was so stupid. Like, oh my god, I was banging my head against the wall when he said that. I was like, bro, you're you're an actual joke. Like, like you're actually like a laughable human being. Why would you? Why? What would even possess you to say something stupid like that? Oh, you didn't say the name correctly, so you're misunder you're misinterpreting the historical source. Like, what? <laughs> Like, like, you see the leaps of just idiocy in his mind? Like, how do you even come up with that, like, argument? That's all because, he had. <laughs> like, they don't... That's If they can't stick to facts, they'll try for any other thing. Anything. Regardless, Emperor Alexios called for aid. That aid was the Crusades. It's that simple. And then what? Are, let's let's go to the Fourth Crusade. What uh, what 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 happened? Twelve years before the Fourth Crusade. Anybody know? Enlighten us. The massacre of the Latins. More than sixty thousand hmm. Western Christians, which they called Latins, were either massacred or forced to leave the Byzantine Empire. Then eleven years later, the Fourth Crusade starts marching towards the Holy Land. Uh, some Byzantine noble, it really doesn't matter what his name was. He doesn't survive very long. It's not important. He requests that this crusade helps put him on the throne. And one of those, like their first stops after his contact with them is the city of Zara, which was a city that was rebellious to the Byzantine Empire. They sack that city. Then they're excommunicated. The Fourth Crusade is no longer a crusade after the sack of Zara. A lot of them leave and continue on to the Holy Land. A lot of them continue to Constantinople for the promise of a bunch of payment. Then they make it to Constantinople. They put old dude on the throne. The guy says, yeah, actually, I can't pay you. Plus, also, you know those 60,000 that were either massacred or forced to leave? Fuck them. No one's going to be uh, punished for it at all. Especially when you're dealing with the Normans. What do you expect? Mm -hmm. And the Venetians, who I don't like them either. But Again, in killing that many people, it's like, what do you really expect to happen? This, to be honest, we know why it happened. But I'm not sure if I can say it, especially after I dropped the F bomb. It is very interesting how they leave that stuff out. I I don't know why the um Latin mass on aliving happened. I haven't looked that far into it. I'm sure they had their reason that they thought it was justified, but I can give you some insight on this. So uh is this your opinion, or is this from some historical no, source? No, no, this is this is historically substantiated. Um, so the Byzantine Empire sold a couple islands to the Venetians for like trade and stuff, and they had like a trade agreement where they weren't being taxed, um, upon, uh, neither upon entry nor upon leaving. 
Byzantine waters <clears throat> when trading. Um, so after a while of this, because the Byzantines like had to sell these islands, because I believe the this is when the um, Umayyads like launched that really big invasion of like uh like a thousand ships or whatever from Egypt, like go attack Constantinople. And it was like the first or second time this happened. And so they sell these islands. Uh, the Venetians help fight off the uh, Muslims. Everything goes smoothly. They're conducting trade, but then the Latins are, you know, they start like charging a lot of money uh, for imported goods to the uh, Greeks. And they don't like this, right? They know they're being sorted, but these treaties are like, uh, I can't do anything about it, right? So eventually after, I think it was whatever one of those like Byzantine resurgences was like, I think, again, I think it's the second one. They decide like, hey, we're not going to do this anymore. So they kill all the Latins and then, you know, try and take back those islands. Which, but it was mainly in and around Constantinople where these this massacre happened. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm just not um, sure on the time. But whatever in that sixty year period hmm. between when they were, or like the the period before, like like a uh, fifty years or so. Where are you going? Hmm? Yeah, dude. I didn't want you on me anyway. I'm flexing. Can you get the sheep out of my mansion? Uh, okay. Who are you talking to? Nobody. I uh, just had to go help somebody. My nest, oh, my cool. Stand by. It's interesting how they leave that stuff out. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm still, dog. Uh, go ahead if you want. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do, but anybody, tell them. I know he saw the video that I tagged him in. I'm sure he'll lie about that, too. No. I'm just surprised you're interested in even having a conversation with that cuck. I'm interested in correcting a lie. That's the thing, though. He knows he's lying. And also proving my superiority when it comes to historical knowledge. Real. At least you can admit that. Dog, even in this converse, like the one conversation that we had, he lied like three times. Yeah. <laughs> he was on your live? Yeah. Dang. I'm just outright, like, he tried to bring up, um, what was it? Um, lying, lying under oath or what, 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 what's that Christian, uh, like you're not allowed to lie under something? What, what, what is it? He, he said it. Sorry, I, I have no idea. I don't remember. Like, and that's like also he just kept talking and talking and talking. Oh, as, like, I too like was saying something. It's like, dog, that's not how this works. Well, the first twenty, I think it's like four minutes of the first interaction. I'm like, nothing you're saying has to do with the topic that you're even arguing about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Just, like, can I just no, finish what I'm trying to say? No, dude. Stick to the point. If you stick to the point, you can say whatever you want. But like, where I'm not gonna go on all these little tangents that have nothing to do with it. Exactly. The problem is he knows better and he continues to lie. That I do not accept. That I don't respect. Mm -hmm. That I will not give time. You can lie to your audience all you want. You're not gonna lie to mine. Just like man. <laughs> These people that exist, I'm like, why are you like this? Is it, is it something like affliction of the brain or the soul? I, I don't it's, know. It's for clout, obviously. I'm like, but why? You can <laughs> When did he accuse me of bearing false witness? Yeah, that's what it was. When? When was I didn't hear this? Yes, he accused you of bearing false witness. <laughs> oh. Like when he was like, oh, um, when you're being intellectually dishonest, whenever he says that. Get his that. ass in here now. <laughs> Somebody get him in here now. 
Oh my, that shit was so funny. I want to learn how to make gunpowder. So like if I ever go back, could do get sent back in time, you know, the rare chance, you know, I'm not to make weapons. For who? Okay. You know, I don't know. You know the proper amount of pressure and like what type of wood and metal and stuff to use too? I know absolutely nothing about it, but I saw a YouTube video on it. <laughs> I mean, I think about that, you know, you a lot of us the, uh, remember, don't you can't go me. to Africa first because they don't have the, I think it's potassium or think about this. If, you, if we were actually sent back in time, a lot of us would be screwed because like we're so neutered by technology. Do you know how to build this and this and this, you know? Nah, dude, I'm a man's man. I just <laughs> <out of Walmart. laughs> He's one of my rowdy Hawaiian subjects. I wonder that, that would explain a lot. He was one of my. How do you make steel? How do you make iron? You, do you, mine iron? you don't make iron. Iron's a naturally occurring element. You make steel by putting more carbon into iron, I believe. Yep. Also, get him in here immediately. I know one of you. One of you has some sort of a way to talk to him. Get him in here. Yeah, the fact that you said you were bearing false witnesses, like, that's, that's actually crazy. Brown. I don't that's know like how I didn't hear that like either. Fight. <laughs> Wait, is he Christian? I don't no. think so. No, but I'm like, dude, for you to say that another, like, like if we put this in biblical terms, no, dude, like, we, we got to, like, fight now. Like, 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 this is a serious issue. Like, that's... No, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear him say that. Otherwise, we had a real problem right then and there. I'm like, dude, like, bearing false witness? Like, I know, he, told, he told me the Crusades were unchristian or something. I was like, no. <laughs> they were act. Eh. That's like, also the, under that's the understanding dumb. of like, that's not an argument. Uh, it right. wasn't Christianity going to war with these places, it was nations that happened to have Christian populations. Yeah. That's so, that's historically illiterate, yet again. But I told him, I told him, like, if Christians never fought back against Muslims, the entire world, I mean, Europe would have been all Muslim by now. Like, yeah. real. And, and again, where is the condemnation of the Muslims? I had no right to do what they did. No, no, oh, it doesn't. That, that's not okay. You look at all the stuff they conquered. They conquered, like, all of Eastern Europe at one point. At least the world over so many Muslims in general. Like, all of Eastern Europe, Spain, almost well, all of France. The, the, the Mongols France, conquered Eastern Europe. Be Everywhere. careful. Emergency. Careful what you say about the Mongols. Oh, oh, hey, it's the facts. It's the facts. It's the facts. I know. Remember the ones? Well, well those, those, are, those Mongols that spread. Oh, wait, did the Mongols? I have a question. Which one were the Mongols that like spread Islam there? Golden Horde. I don't know. They, that's the thing. The Golden Horde didn't spread Islam. The Golden Horde Islamized, but the Mongols never tried to force their religion onto people. Ever. Oh, good, good, good. Well, no, no, Ottoman, no. The like Islamization of Eastern Europe and whatnot came with the Ottomans. Wait, dude, we can, I feel like we can argue that because if they are Muslim, wouldn't they still have to like implement the jizya and whatnot? No, they were Muslim basically Mongols? the Mongols were Muslim in name. Like they didn't, okay. You were, if you were a Mong, I can't speak for all the Turks and whatnot. That's not my area. But if you were a Mongol, you were a Mongol first, period, and everything else second. He, yeah, I agree. Right. They don't forget where you come from. That's what's important. That's another thing. Doc, there's no more unified or justified conquerors than the Mongols. Because Doc, this is this is so dope. <laughs> yeah. From the second Temujin was proclaimed Genghis, Genghis Khan, Chinggis Khan, Khan of Khans, universal ruler. Everyone, when the Mongols showed up after that point, if you did not submit immediately, it's not like they were at war with you. You were in rebellion against the Mongol Empire. <laughs> they don't even see it as like you being independent. I know. That's so dope to me. Like, how dare you? <laughs> there are just a lot of people, and this is way off topic. A lot of people just completely misunderstand the Mongols and why it's like, well, why didn't they conquer Western Europe? Because it wasn't that important. Also, by the time that they were really hard to there, like a whole What's bunch that, of stuff was going on. Wouldn't have been, far far more been hard, though, I think. 
It's like highly I mean, popular. no harder than conquering Jin and Song China or the Khwarezmian Empire. You know. Imagine if they would conquered Europe. Like, that would have been crazy, bro. Like, that all of it would have you know, been insane. But be, obviously, be, God had a different crazy plan. That would have been a crazy empire. I think it would have been healthy for the European ideas of what they believe about themselves. I agree. I think, yeah, I think, I think they need just like a little bit of Asian justice, you know. Well, it's because of they were already cucked at the time, though. Do you think? Yeah. Um, mm. No, nah, I mean, up. they would have got messed up by like a lot of different people at that time. Yeah. If it came down to it, I mean, they were relatively equal with the Islamic powers. Like, if they would have, if there was some scenario in which they were fighting like a Jin or Song army, they would have been thrashed. They were fighting the Khwarezmian Empire. They probably wouldn't have went too well for them. And even if you like give the Europeans like full knight plate armor, dude, you're still getting like thrashed thoroughly. Like, uh, did you ever look up like uh like the Mongol? Uh, foot troop composition and like what they like took from the Han like those dudes with the nets and the bill hooks like it's probably going to stop a knight saying Real Mongol sticky. foot troops is kind of inaccurate well, foot he, troops the Mongols employed would be a better because no Mongol fought on foot yeah you, you, you get what I mean the, the guys that were also there but it's like uh, yeah well, that's the, that's like basically why they were at their height when they were not fighting each other. It wasn't just you weren't fighting just the Mongols. You had engineers from the Middle East and China and their technology. You had infantry from all of those places. You had heavy cavalry from Eastern Europe. You had everything. Yeah. And then you introduce a little alcohol to that and things don't go well. Yep. The unfortunately, our Asian brothers cannot digest alcohol. It is very sad. I don't know if it's like, but like the step didn't have access to like the fermented grain and fruit alcohol that settled peoples did, just like the plains Native Americans didn't have access to the same thing, and they're pretty. Allegedly, they're pretty genetically similar, and alcohol <laughs> did basically the same exact thing to both groups of people. You want to know something cool? So, well, well, like, made him, wait, so I got a question. This sounds kind of dumb, but like, uh, when it comes to uh, when, when they drink it, that means like they get drunk easier, or what? Yeah. Yes. And a lot of them, like a lot of, especially the cons, like Ogadai, he drank himself literally to death. Yeah. Like they have no self control, especially in the Middle Ages. Like people really a Mongol. No self control. Like, bro's not. I don't care. I'm literally the king of the world. Who's going and, to well, me Their alcohol before that was just fermented mare's milk, which probably mm. doesn't taste too good. Yeah, and also nowhere near as like, uh, like it doesn't have a like a high alcohol percentage. So it's like, yeah, we're getting drunk, but like, eh. They need to introduce some some new techniques. Next thing you know. Literally everyone's dying of like fucking liver cancer or whatever the hell. It is. I mean, it's sad for me because I'm a fan of the Mongols, but it's probably good for the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing for the places they didn't talk <laughs> Like those, like those 40 million people in Europe thanking God that they didn't get absolutely trod over. It and would, if there were 40 bad. million people in Europe... If that's like the number of people that there were in Europe, mm -hmm. there's no way that. And the only time the Mongols ever tried to conquer Europe was under Ogadai. He sent a force of 130,000 in that direction, which at the exact same time, they had an army in the Middle East. They had two armies in China and. Um, Bless you. They had another. They had like their like their step holding force as well like there was never a time where the mongol empire truly attempted to conquer europe yeah not like oh we and that's not even me like you know sucking them off or nothing that's just a historical fact that's yeah. good though no i'm glad they didn't i'm kind of not dude i wish they would have no i think 
just to I, see what would have happened. It, it, it would have so many good, well, depending on how you view Africa, it would have so many good, like, things happen for us. Like, do you know the amount of horses that people in Africa, like, were buying from in terms of, like, Europeans and, like, North Africans in terms of horses? I got no idea. Massive, massive amounts. We, we were spending, well, not we, kings were spending massive amounts of gold to procure these horses. Um, and particularly uh, camels, which the Mongols, I, I'm, was it the Mongols? They like mixed like the Bactrian camel with like the like Arabian camel and like came up with like this entirely new camel that was like way better and like was able to cross the desert at like a faster pace or some shit. And, I have to look into that. Yeah, but we like we never got it. We we were never able to like import it because they didn't. <sighs> Oh, no, if I was whoever was in Egypt at the time, like, or there'd be the Rashidans fighting Marcurio or the Fatimans fighting the Zagway kingdom, they're already doing pretty well without a lot of horses. I wouldn't want it to get yeah. horses. Yeah, no, it's but- just like there's a reason the Spanish didn't want the Comanche to have horses. Yeah. Like, you saw how that went once they got, like, oh, that's another thing, dude. Oh, uh, Jerry, I appreciate your comment, but don't, don't tell me what to do. Uh, and and that, that, was, that was another thing. Um, the East Africans, unfortunately. Oh, one second. If you want to come up, if you have like some to say, you want to disagree, you want to have a little debate, just request. That's all you got to do. You want on L? Didn't you do one on L? Said. Uh, I have no idea. Mm. I doubt it. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, no, I, the, like I'm not, I'm interested in what I'm interested in. And like, I'm not going to make a video that I'm not interested in unless there's some sort of monetary incentive. Um, I guess monetary incentive would be like you diversifying your videos and maybe attracting a larger audience. I'm there's uh, there's no attracting a larger. I'm so deeply shadow banned. It's cra- like, uh, it's like that one video that I stitched. In less than an hour, it had um, like 600 views or whatever, which that's not ter- like crazy for less than an hour, but it had like 400 likes. From, from that like to view ratio, literally yeah. any other account, that would get pushed to the algorithm. But because yeah. I'm me, it didn't. Uh, you're not you're not lying about that. That that's weird. That's a super. Most people aren't getting that. I'll tell you that much. Like, in terms of percentage, like for you to be within like an eighty percent, would that be eighty percent? My percentage is always pretty crazy. Yeah, this like, isn't me. Again, this isn't me. Filating myself. I'm just. It is what it is. Not filating. So. Don't um, don't say that. Hello, Lucas JV. Mm, I do not like that 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 uh, that that PFP man. I, I gotta be totally honest with you. Donald Glover for the win. I don't even look like him, especially yeah, not do. now, dude. He's got like ten more pounds in his face than me. Yeah, that's because he's fat. If he lost the weight, be nice. It, it's true. It doesn't. Not a dig against him. You he's are. also rich, so. I mean, dude, dude, don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm a fat dude. Like, no. <laughs> you are. Yeah. You don't sound like one. Well, I'm I'm currently losing weight. I can hear it now. I can hear it now that you said it. I can hear it. That's crazy. <laughs> can I turn? On? Oh no, I can only use audio. What is this thing with TikTok and not being able to turn on your camera unless you have like a certain amount of followers? Like, what? I don't get. No, no, I don't have that problem. Like, Somebody uh, get that guy in here now. That's the only reason I'm going live. I could be doing more important things. Oh yeah, dude. Um, how did your uh thing go with the Netflix guy? Oh, didn't go anywhere. Didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, Netflix is whack, anyways. 
Gotta but go. I don't. He was like he was in the documentary side of working with Netflix and not the like movie side. So mm. I don't know. Well, this even is for so- all eleven people in here, if you know anybody in the movie industry and you connect me with them and I sell my script, I'll give you up to ten percent of what I make from selling my script. Well, even if you were able to talk to that guy, though, like he knows people. Uh, I don't. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works. For like, I think the the documentary side is pretty set on the documentary side, and like it's pretty divided up. But I don't know. Oh well. Well, you can always go to Netflix and you know actually look at uh, who works for them. Track somebody down like that. Yeah, but that's if I were to contact them by myself, that's a good way to get blacklisted from the industry entirely. Oh no, no, no. I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm this is gonna sound a little crazy, but motherfuckers like me, I'll I'll create like a fake natural like <laughs> fucking scenario, dude. Like I'll I'll make you think that like this has nothing to do with anything. Like oh, real, no. real shit. <laughs> Any audiobooks? Uh, I would suggest The Crusades, an authoritative history on the war for the Holy Land. And uh, this is like some people have read that book and they assume because the author of that book says, and I quote, Alexios was probably expecting a small mercenary force. That's you thinking that. Alexios never said, send me a small mercenary force. He said, I need aid. The Muslims are coming. Like we need actual help. Uh, you know, you know, it's weird. Get there, that guy in here now. There weren't a lot of like Serbians there. I always thought it was weird. Well, uh, what was in the time of the First Crusade? Was a Kievan Rus even a thing yet? Um. Yes. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, because Vladislav had already. Uh, tried to attack Constantinople and then got killed by the uh, Khan by then and had a skull turned to a drinking cup. So like, have like they a, like converted to Christianity? Yeah, because it's because it's after that point. So yeah, Vladislav wasn't a Christian. No, but they turned Christian after he died. Yeah. So it's it's at least like uh, 150 years after that. Mm-hmm. So they're probably mostly Christian, or at least more than half. The Kievan Rus never really – none of the – well, also, the Kievan Rus wasn't like one yeah. unified place. It was the principalities. Like it was a bunch of different princes that were competing with each other. That that story of Rurik is so weird. Like because it's a foreign prince coming to supposedly rule over a people – which isn't necessarily like. Do you believe that story? Kind of. I don't. I'm, in the slightest. And and I'll, I'll give you my reason why. So there's this thing in uh, particularly South Asian cultures where they would have Indian princes come to their islands and like marry a prince and become the king of the island because of their like super great uh uh merchant connections. Because, you know, India was like end-all, be-all back then. Yeah, but according to – that's not what it was for the the people in whatever the Kievan Rus was called at the time. Yeah, but like – They said, we want you to come and end these wars. So that doesn't yeah. sound realistic to me at all. I mean, sometimes you're asking for somebody to end your war in an indirect way. You keep going to war, so eventually some guy is going to come – and make you stop warring in whatever way he deems fit. And, you know. <laughs> Do we even know if, like, for sure, if Rorik was a real person? Yeah. yeah Do we know? He was definitely, like, a real guy. Because he married uh, Bjorn Ironside's daughter. Like, his, like, legitimate, like, real substantiated daughter. And then, like, look into that. had a bunch of kids. I don't have to look into that. And I think that's why they say he was asked. Like, because if Sweden back then is, like, relatively stable, right, they are going to need, like, an actual trade partner with the Slavs. 
because they can't conquer them because they're not. But it wasn't up. Sweden trading with these people. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't like the Kingdom of Sweden sending people out on trade expeditions. It was just different groups of people yeah, going yeah. biking into that area. Well, no, I'm, I'm not talking about like the actual going Viking part. I'm talking about like the real, real trade expedition that were only there to trade. Not, not I don't the, know if there were too many of those. There were, come, come on, dude. Come on. They're, yeah, come on. Come on. They're, 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 they're people. They're trading. I can really only trade with my most, like, immediate neighbors. Especially in medieval time. Oh, and, the Vikings had some of the most extensive trade routes in human history. In European history. Oh, let's not say human history. Yeah. And when you look at those trade routes... They're ma- they mainly all end in Russia. <laughs> like their main trade routes all end in Russia. Mm, I don't think yeah. that's true. Yeah, the, the trade routes that they would use to go to the Black Sea. Yeah, they, that's just one go- direction that they were they were going everywhere. Spain, North Africa. Yes, but th- those weren't reached by most people. Like those were like just neither dog. Like, Neither were the ones in the Kievan Rus. They were, though, because Russia has giant rivers running through it. You can sail down in less than 60 days. They were mostly in Western Europe. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, they were, though. I looked 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 it up. Most of them. I'm not about to go. I'm not about to go down and trade with a bunch of poor Europeans when I can skip over it and go right to the there were I mean, way there was, more there was, uh, poor there in Eastern Europe. Europe. Exactly. So why am I not going to go to the even richer guy in the East? They were way more poor in Eastern Europe. Yes. The West was much more wealthy and had much more stuff for not them to in, trade with and for. Not in comparison with the Muslim empires. The Muslim empires weren't... They didn't have much trade with the Muslim empires. They had trade with... um. Uh, like Morocco and whatnot after they raided. They had the the Rus and the whatever Muslim empire so happened to be in charge at the time had way more trade than basically anybody. That well, was that's what it says. It says uh, the Eastern and Western. Yeah, wings. the Rus, but you went from Sweden and the Swedish Vikings to the Rus now, who are yeah. two different groups of people. Whether they were started by Swedish Vikings, allegedly, that's re- irrelevant to the conversation. But the Rus are their own distinct group. Okay, so is that the Vikings' all? main the Vikings' main trade partner was England, Scotland, Ireland, or France and Germany, in parts of Germany, France and parts of Germany, parts of Germany. Yeah, but it says so. Which one was first? Let's see. Let's see. Doc, somebody get him in here now. Well, said, well, the eastern routes were more lucrative because of the Byzantine. See? Because of the Byzantine Empire. You were talking about what would become the Rus. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Okay. In all of Europe, right, they have generally the same climate. Generally the same geography. Generally the same Condition. What do you mean? No, they don't. Like Mount Southern Europe? Miss, hilly, not, not Southern Europe, like white people, Nordic Europe. Oh, okay. That yeah, part of Europe. Europe. Spaniards look pretty white to me. Yeah, what? Yeah, they're white. Yeah, they are white, but they're not white. I don't care if he's going to deflect and use ad hominems. Get his ass in here. You know, no, it's really hot, pale. Hail. Telling me yeah, I'm dude, bearing hail. false witness, dude. I'll crucify you. In whoa, real life. Whoa, whoa. I'll find where you live and I'll do bad things. Uh, you're talking about me getting you banned. <laughs> That's a jo- in Minecraft, obviously. This is late, dude. <laughs> really? Anyway, some girl with like pale skin, black hair, blue eyes. That's pretty. That's pretty attractive, no? I don't know. You guys think about that, but and the only thing I think is attractive is my wife and Sydney Sweeney. Crazy. <laughs> 
the the and Sydney Sweeney part is just clearly he doesn't know what that term meant. Obviously, bearing false witness is like it has to do directly with God. Yeah. Which I'm like, he's not arguing that the Crusades are unchristian in the sense of that they go against the Bible either. Which I'm pretty sure if you read the Bible, God. I'm not gonna make sense for God, but I like I I'm not even like I didn't even at all bring in the Bible or anything into the argument because it has nothing to do with the Bible. It was a secular action done by Christian nations. And just because you say a thing is for a thing does not make it actually for that thing. I can say I'm. Kicking this baby in the head for Tom Holland. That doesn't mean Tom Holland is gonna like. Can, he's not gonna champion that. <laughs> like, like, like as if there, as if that third party doesn't have its own like, I don't know, set of like rules and regulations and morals that it goes by. It's also just it's pretty much flat out wrong that the Crusades. The whole idea was to retake the Holy Land. That was I don't know where that came from. Yeah. No, this is about money. And getting rid of some second sons. Like. Well, I mean, secondarily, yeah, absolutely. But it was about aiding the Byzantine Empire after it requested aid. Being based in Chad and going and helping your Eastern Orthodox brothers. Did some people benefit from it monetarily? Absolutely. It's like yeah. some people benefit in all armed conflict well, well, hold throughout on, time. Well, let's not forget the many converted Christian souls that were saved. Absolutely. Hey. Absolutely. And he drew Muhammad apology. Hey, the, shadow, the shadow tunic is authentic, dude. It is. But that image that you posted was well, not I don't think so, but it also has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So we're not going to talk about I mean, you know, when the Crusades, when well, they went on Crusades, they... Uh, uh, uh. Don't care. Doesn't well, matter. You know when they went on the crusade, they came out with a, back, a bunch of relics. I don't, don't know. Probably weren't care. Something irrelevant to the conversation. My I'm talking about the cru- I brought her back to the crusade, though. What are you talking about? It's still irrelevant to the conversation. Okay. Oh, God, go get ready for bed. Bedtime. Hello, RMC Crawford three three three. Yeah, my name's Ryan, man. You can just you can call me Ryan. No. Ryan. <laughs> nah, too boring. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no. I honestly just listening to that whole it wasn't even a debate. Just listening to the whole thing, it really I don't know. Someone's got a ceiling bird chirping. Are you black? No. <laughs> you hear the sound of that man's voice has pure Caucasian. I don't know, dude. I hear the ceiling bird. Well, maybe he's a southern Caucasian. Yeah, no, that's fair. Wait, you're southern? Uh, that's a yeah, joke, dude. TikTok. Oh, yeah. It's not. From, uh, that's from uh, Arkansas. Nope. Mississippi. Nope. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted you. No, it was just, I, like, when he when he started talking about, oh, that's bearing false witness, that's, at that point, I suspected beforehand that it was all bull, you know, BS, but... I don't At know how point, I, I missed like, him saying that. That seems yeah, like it's something because, I would have... It's because he was trying to talk over you. It's it crazy that he said that. He brought up every argument he could think of. <laughs> like, bro, bro was just spamming whatever. Like, Yeah, no, he was just throwing stuff at the wall and hoping that it would stick. Yeah, something, anything, and nothing. It... it it was honestly, it was honestly a little sad. And like, I on, I don't care if someone disagrees. Me and Rikin Nunya disagree on a lot of stuff. And like, have like, like heated arguments about a lot of stuff. Yet, oh, I've only ever had to kick him because he was talking about some stuff that could have gotten us in trouble. IRL. Real. Real. But it's like, I don't care. Like, but you're, I'm not going to let you, one, disrespect the topic. And two, just like lie to everybody, mm-hmm. and not well, and not only lie to everybody, lie about Christ. 
My and God. me, dude. It's like, oh, bearing false witness. Oh, ooh, yeah. I'll throw a pie at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the is. thing is, is, he was, well, he was just lying on all the comments in the videos that you had before you did the live. He's in oh, here, he was. Yeah, no, 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 he's here. He's here? Oh yeah, he's here. Please, please, come up, bro. <laughs> Yay! Guys. All right, everybody Leave else out. Okay, so I, I am the topic of discussion here in this live, even before I've entered it, so I see we're all obsessed with me. Cool cope. Okay, but what is it that I have to address here? Because I've pointed out multiple times that I have proof that I did not report. That's sneaky not what we're talking about at all. We're talking I about your lies about the Crusades. You. And then saying I was bearing false witness. You are bearing false witness. <laughs> what, is that? what does that mean? It means that you are not witnessing the, the, the injustice that was done. Christians have to witness <laughs> no, that the is, injustice that, that was done. what bearing false witness means at all. It means, yes, that's liter That's quite literally what it means. No. In, a, in, a, in a cultural context, that's quite literally what it means. No, no. it's lying. It's lying. To, to, to bear witness is, is, to, wit is to bear witness false. to something. Bearing you, false you, witness is a religious thing, not a cultural thing. And it means to lie, basically. That's what it means. Is, is that not no, exactly what we're talking about, right? Is that not exactly what I've just said? No, because yeah, bearing false witness is very much oh, hey, hey, against hey, God. Mute yourself. No, it's not what we're talking about. We're talking about your lies about the Crusades. I well, didn't how did I lie about anything. the Crusades? What did I say? Uh, that they weren't justified, that they were an abomination, etc. Et that's my opinion. And I never Your said that opinion they were an abomination. Wrong. That's not an opinion thing. But it, it's not an opinion thing. So, it, yes. do you know, so I have a question for you then. I have, a, I have a question for you if you'll actually listen to me and if you'll actually answer my questions. All right, is it the question have to do with the topic? Yes, it's extremely relevant. Uh, we'll see. Do you understand how the historical method works? Dog. Yes. Okay, so explain it to me then. Break it down. <laughs> because, because I'm historically illiterate. You, so yes, I need clearly. you to educate me on how the historical method works. Go ahead. The historical method works by... Well, there's no one historical method. There's no one method of historical... Strong disagree, but keep going. What? I said strong disagree, but keep going. Uh, again, you're wrong. You can look at it from a forensic way. There's forensic methodology. There's architectural methodology. There's linguistic methodology. There's genetic methodology. Just like there's military history. There's forensic history. There's genetic history. But, okay, but you're not explaining how the overall method of analyzing there, a primary source Because works. there is no overall methodology. It, it, there is, and it's called the historical method, and that's what I'm trying no. to get at here, is that you've accused me multiple times of being historically illiterate, and I'm not because saying that you you're historically, historically illiterate. illiterate. I'm not the saying that you're historically illiterate, but I am saying that you are, historical historical saying that you are uninformed. The you are way to verify a historical document is to check it against contemporary documents and other documents at the time, and also the other forms of documentation, such as genetic, forensic, etc. Uh, don't forget archaeology. I kind of throw that in forensic. I guess it's technically different. But well, anyway, now that you're completely person. irrelevant point, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly the point. You literally, you are so historically illiterate that you cannot stick to the subject, so you'll try to go to any other thing as you're flailing which has nothing to do with anything. The only historical methodology I need to say the Crusades were just, first and foremost, the Crusades happened. Therefore, they are justified. If the people involved in the Crusades didn't believe they were justified, they wouldn't have happened. And I get that. That's not a very good justification. That's a very Mongol-esque justification. The justification is Alexios called for aid. The response was the Crusades. It doesn't matter how you feel about it. That's how it was.
okay, after, after over like a minute of, of being silenced. Uh, yeah, and don't I, talk I feel over like, I, I feel like, okay, I apologize if I do talk over you. Uh, okay, so you're saying the Crusades are justified because the people at the time saw them as being a good thing to do. Is, no, is that really your line of argument? Did, no, never said anything about them being a good thing to do. Okay. Well, okay, let's discuss the events that led up to the... Let's discuss the, the, the relevant context that leads up to the Crusades. First of what? all, let's discuss, the, let's discuss the start of the Caliphates in as, as early as the 500s. Am I right? Am I wrong? No. The Rashidun Caliphate. When 622. Is okay, so as early as the, as the early 600s, the Rashidun Caliphate begins. Death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is... Is is when it's it's uh, six thirty three six thirty four. So then after that, the Rashidun Caliphate expands north. They take Jerusalem. They take Jerusalem in six thirty five. They expand to the east, to the west. They take over Spain by the seven hundreds. Battle of Tours occurs occurs when seven eleven. Something like that. Eight. But that wasn't the Rashidun Caliphate and also has nothing to do with no, the Crusades. I know. It's a complete, That's it's a not a relevant event leading up to the, the Crusades. I said, I said, let's discuss the events leading up to the Crusades. This is a relevant part of the conversation. It's Talking not a relevant part of the conversation at all. It, it, how is it not a relevant part of the conversation? How because the they had nothing to do with the not Crusades. They had the nothing to do with the justification of the Crusades. It, that will come later, obviously. But you have to set up the relevant context. That's not relevant. It is relevant. It is It's relevant to the conversation. It is because not. Because what I want to point out is. here, let's talk about Jerusalem during that period. Let's Jerusalem talk about Jerusalem is also during the irrelevant period. to the calling of the Crusades. The goal Jerusalem is not irrelevant to, to the calling of the I don't know where you get that fiction from. The Crusades weren't about retaking the Holy Land. Let's literally read Pope Urban II's address at Clermont. Go right ahead. Let's read it aloud together. <clears throat> Most beloved brethren, urged by necessity, I, Urban, by the permission of God, chief bishop and prelate over the whole world, have come into these... Oh, my computer is on a monitor that doesn't show up into these parts as an ambassador with a divine admonition to you, the servants of God. I hoped to find you as faithful and as zealous in the service of God as I had supposed you to be. But if there is any in you, any deformity or crookedness contrary to God's law with divine help, I will do my best to remove it. For God has put you as the stewards over his family to minister it. Happy indeed will you be if he finds you faithful in your stewardship. You are called shepherds. See that you do not act as hirelings. But be true, shepherds, with your crooks always in your hands. Do not go to sleep, but guard on all sides of the flock committed to you. For if, through your carelessness or negligence, a wolf carries away one of your sheep, you will surely lose the reward laid up for you with God. Okay, look, this is just the first part of the address. It, it doesn't seem as relevant. Let's, let's skip to the first quotation. So he introduced this quotation by saying, For thus it happened to the rich man in the gospel, he was not punished, uh, Luke 16, 19, he was not punished because he had stolen the goods of another, but because he had not used well the things which were his. Quote, You have seen for a long time the great disorder in the world caused by these crimes. It is so bad in some of your provinces, I am told, and you are so weak in the administration of justice that one can hardly go along the road by day or night without being attacked by robbers, and whether at home, uh, here, I think he's talking about in Europe. Here, I think that's a reference to things going on in Europe. I don't actually know who he's quoting. Get to the relevant part, please. Yeah, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the... I'm looking for the... While you're doing that, um, when, was, uh, when was this sermon? 